vlogging again which is very exciting and I'm actually going to India which is amazing um, we are going to India for three weeks and then the Maldives for, for one week um, as you may have remembered me saying my mum is on sabbatical for like three months so she's had loads of time off and this is the kind of last hurrah the big trip that we're doing um, and yeah we're just going to be like traveling around India basically so perfect opportunity to vlog um, I'm a little bit sad that I'm not going to be around for Zach and my friends for um, such a long time and I will miss them very much but um, I'm very excited. Yes, today is the 2nd of August, so I'm not going to daily vlog. Well, I'm going to try and vlog every day, but I'm not going to daily vlog. I'm going to kind of vlog in each place that we go and upload it as like a whole like place. That doesn't make any sense. I've just woken up I'm really confused, <laughs> but I'm, I'm hoping you guys can work out what I'm trying to say and then um, some of it will be talky I think some of it probably won't be and I'll just be filming scenery and stuff um, I'm just gonna see how I go and how I get on I'm hopefully gonna edit as I go but you never know what the Wi-Fi is gonna be like apparently it's very good but there's definitely one place I know we're going where we don't have anything including like 3G, GPRS, nothing for like six or seven days so there definitely won't be any vlogs then I'm super duper excited. I got back from Marbella yesterday. So yeah, what have I been doing since I last vlogged? At the beginning of July, I had um, the wedding that I'd mentioned, um, a little bit of time at home, but really it was about moving out here to the farm. The house is being, still being worked on, our normal house, and we've moved out of our rented house now. So we kind of live out here at the farm at the moment. Um, and so that was all a bit kind of boring I also moved out of my Edinburgh flat as I think I told you guys um, like for good which is very sad so there was a lot of carting stuff around um, and then I went to New York for two weeks which was lovely we um, have been back to the same place for four years now and we are going back next year as well because we just love it there so much I never tend to vlog there because I'm never really doing much. Maybe one day I'll vlog there just so you guys can see it and so I have like memories of it because it is such a nice place to be. And um, April came out which was so lovely. Um, people who've been watching me for a while remember April. April. Um, she is one of my best friends from uni and she's been away in Seville um, this past year. And I hadn't seen her for almost a year so... Um, she came out and Rach was there so I had some time with my friends, I had some time with Zach who was also there. It was really nice and fun and then I went to Marbella with Rach for a few days, not very long, a flying visit and now I am back and yeah I got back yesterday. I packed all, well I didn't pack all night, I packed, unpacked, repacked because I couldn't bear to do it today. I'm just going to show you guys my list because so here's here's the dealio so in india obviously it's going to be super hot so you need stuff for super hot weather but then also sometimes you're going to need to cover up a little bit just have like long sleeves on and not show too much skin so i've got stuff for that as well like trousers and things like that but then we're also going up into the mountains where it's going to be more mediterranean mediterranean -y temperatures and it might get quite cool at night so I've needed like jackets and things for that and evening wear and then evening wear for when it's really hot and then obviously going to the Maldives at the end I'm going to need normal like bikini beachy wear so it's been one of those trips that's really really hard to pack for so we have skincare, makeup, I've put not too much next to it because I never wear that much makeup in summer and I always bring loads on holiday tampons for obvious reasons, contact lenses two times PJs, five times t-shirts, obviously we're going to do washing when we're out there as well, two times shorts, I think I have three, um, two times jeans for like cooler nights in the mountains, um, three nice tops for evenings to put with my jeans, evening dresses, outfits, but I've also actually got some day dresses as well for wandering around, um, and some of those are a bit longer as well, a little bit less revealing. Um, two times trousers, um, I think I've only actually got one. Um, one times dung dungarees, I put that in just because I literally wanted to take my cheap Monday dungarees that I love so much. <laughs> um, 
two times long sleeve tops for obvious reasons like I just said beach cover-ups bikinis bras trainers I've actually got a couple pairs of trainers just because we are going to be doing some walking but I don't want to take any walking boots sandals are very important posh shoes for evenings um, not taking any heels just some posh flats I think I'm taking a couple actually um caps one warmish jacket for daytime just just in case when we're in the um the mountains it gets a bit colder uh, but also one evening jacket for nighttime so i can not be cold at night um when we're going out to dinner or having dinner um although i think we might be quite rural i don't think we will be going out to dinner but it's always good to have um an evening bag because i always forget to take like a small bag um, and it's really annoying. Um, a shirt layer, I think I've actually got a couple of shirts which are good for like in between or like making something a little bit more decent looking. Um, jumpers, two times jumpers, belts and then I've limited myself, I've actually got seven pairs of sunglasses but I think that's pretty good for me. Um, jewellery, blah blah blah, all the rest of it. I think I'm going to have to buy a new Kindle at the airport, it's so annoying. My one appears to have kick to the bucket like you know I don't know if you guys who have like Kindles probably will know this if you leave them drained of battery for too long they take ages to start up again and I have to do like a hard reset loads but I've been doing that I've been hard resetting it I've been charging it for like it's been charging all, all overnight and the screen has not changed or what anything so I think I'm going to have to buy a new one at the airport because I don't want to take any books, like physical books, they're just too heavy to take in a bag, especially like a month's worth of books. So um, I'm just going to get back into Kindle life and um, I'll have to buy one book. So that's annoying. But anyway, because I've got my priorities obviously super straight, I'm actually going this morning to get my nails done if I can, if I can find somewhere because they're stupidly long. Um, as you can see, both my index fingers have chipped, or peeled off rather, um, and they really need sorting out because they're gelled and they're also really stained. I wore, um, well I put some bug spray on and then I was wearing this misguided like suede play suit in Mallorca and they, it just stained them massively and it's kind of gross. So yeah, these need doing, so I'm going to hopefully find someone that will do me my nails without an appointment. Um, somewhere nearby. So I think that's everything you guys for right now. My ramble is over. I'm gonna quickly put some clothes on and head out to um, to find some someone who will do my nails and then I'm gonna come back and just do all my final little bits of packing. So I've just got my nails done. She actually left them quite long so they look nice right now but um, I'm a little bit worried that they're not gonna last me four weeks because um, they're going to end up being too long and start breaking but it's a really gorgeous colour it's called She's My Beauty and this one's by Jellish and then I also got like a, quite a similar colour on my finger I'll quickly show you guys to the one I had last time but it's a little bit more orangey red all I have to do is I'm going to eat and then I'm going to have a shower and then I'm going to get changed into my clothes for a long haul overnight flight and then we're going to leave. We're leaving at half one apparently now. So I've got an hour or so. So those are my bags ready to go. I wouldn't usually take two bags somewhere, especially on like a trip where you're going from place to place. But apparently we have that allowance and it makes the bags lighter and more easy to carry. Which is that sometimes better than having just one bag. So guys, we're off. I'm wearing a version of my always travel outfit I'm wearing my Roshi thingies um, some Nike tracksuit bottoms a black tee and then one of these denim jackets because they're quite thin and light so they can pack away but um, they're a good enough layer to keep you warm on the plane and then I've got my usual backpack and bag combo and I'm ready to go so we made it onto the plane oh. Yeah, we actually didn't end up having that much time because it's obviously when you're boarding such a massive plane um, it takes ages to really get you boarding really early. We are actually not flying straight to India even though you obviously can in London but we are going to buy Dubai um, because of the way that we're flying home from all this. 
so instead of having to fly back to India and everything like that, so we, yeah, flying from Dubai, um, flying to Dubai, and then in the middle of the night getting off the plane and flying to Delhi from there. I managed to get a Kindle, which is good because I was a little bit panicked, thinking we didn't have loads of time. This little creature is very pleased to be next to me. I'm not sure I feel the same. Well, we probably would have sat next to each other anyway, anyway. Just kidding. But it just happened to be that we were already put next to each other. Just <laughs> kidding. I love it really. So, we're on our next flight, guys. And unbeknownst to me and Indy, we are actually taking a third It's a while since we talked. I think I last talked to you on the plane yesterday. Um, but when we arrived uh, after in Jodhpur, we came straight to the hotel. We were, oh no, I think I filmed the amazing car that we were picked up in. So um, that was amazing and felt, <laughs> I, I looked like a little rat, but um, I felt very glamorous. And then we came here, we were welcomed by loads of people, there was music. And then we came to our rooms, got washed, went to lunch, had some delicious food, and then we went to sleep basically for 14 hours. We were just exhausted and I didn't vlog anything, but we are staying in the, I think it's Umaid Bawan Palace, I might be saying that wrong, but I'll put it here. And um, it's actually still, lived in like a third of it is a museum a third of its hotel and it's still lived in by the family that built the palace i think it was the building started in 1920s or something um and so it's quite a new palace but um it's pretty amazing maybe we'll do a little room tour right now so this is the kind of welcome area Super amazing, I love these floors. Beam, beam, beam. And then coming through here, this is our bedroom, obviously looking a little slept in at the minute. Beautiful. Then this is our little wardrobe dressing area. This is the small. Hi. This is our bathroom. Do, do, do. Little loo in there. So it's all very nice, isn't it? Oh, but I think I've overslept a little bit. And obviously, with I think we're four and a half hours ahead from home here, so I'm a little bit off kilter and feeling a bit groggy and weird. But I'm sure I will recover soon enough.
guys, I just finished filming a video. I'm feeling a little bit sleepy now. Um, so I'm gonna edit that now, I think. We had a really nice time exploring the fort and the nearby temple. Um, and we came back at about two. Our guide was great. He explained lots about the history of Jodhpur and um, Rajasthan in general, which is the area that Jodhpur's in. Um, and then we had some lunch in the bar, just a few snacks, really nothing super heavy. And then I just filmed and everyone else is down by the pool, I think, but I'm gonna do my editing. And then tonight, I think we're gonna go for dinner again um, where we went for lunch yesterday. So the kind of main restaurant downstairs it was so, so nice yesterday. And yeah, even just driving through Jodhpur is really interesting. There's always so much going on in India. Um, and it's nice to be out of the kind of hotel bubble a little bit. I think tomorrow we might be going to the bazaar and just having a little wander around. My mum's obviously got interior design on the mind, um, particularly at the moment because of redoing the house and everything. So I think she's excited to get looking at the textiles, which is what this area is really known for. So I ended up taking Indy down to the pool when I was finished editing because apparently they hadn't gone down to the pool, they'd had a nap. My mum and stepdad went to the gym, so I took Indy down to the pool, but I took my camera, but I didn't have a memory card in it which was really stupid of me. I'm gonna get in the shower soon. I thought I'd show you what I was reading. I'm reading The Sympathizer, which um, I bought on the way back from Hong Kong. I'm sure you guys will remember. And it's really good, I'm enjoying it. I will be reviewing it in my August books. I'm sure. I have three books for my July, my July books video and I think I'm going to film that at some point whilst I'm here even though I've got none of the books that I read last month in with me obviously but um, I will do the reviews anywho look how gorgeous these hotel slippers are in this beautiful royal blue so this is my outfit for tonight you guys I'm wearing this pinstripe top shop top sharp jumpsuit that I'm not sure whether you can see the stripes or not and my trusty black flats and it's got this little tie waist thing Indy and I are gonna go to bed now I've kept her up very late watching the jinx with me which I just when I watched a couple episodes before um, I went to Mallorca and it's really good if you've not seen it it's another like true crime documentary probably heard of it if you haven't and you haven't watched it then go and check it out but we're gonna go to bed now go take my makeup off but I will see you tomorrow for some bizarre fun bye hey guys so we just got back from breakfast um, oh, Indy's running. Um, I'm actually wearing a shirt and jeans because the aircon is so <laughs> brutal in this hotel. I'm not going to put any makeup on because I'm going to film a video when I come back where I have to put makeup on on the video. So um, I'm going to wait to put makeup on today. But yes, I'm excited to get out there, do some sharpening. massively steamed up but we've just had lunch in the hotel and now we're off to see um, some of the vintage cars from the private collection you 
can dance here with me. Fire out your wings and fly you free. Just stick to me in time you'll see. Look what box our laundry came in. This is pretty crazy. Ta -da. And it's like got card in it so that the shirts like yeah. stay. Wow. So guys, I don't think I've updated you for a while, but we had a lot of fun in the bazaar this morning. We went to a fabric shop, we bought a lot of fabrics. My mum is very happy, she got lots of new things for the house. Then we came back, had lunch. I will remember to film the restaurant at some point. It's not massively exciting, but we always have delicious food in there, lots of curry. Um, I've just, net <laughs> then we came back up, I had a nap, and then I filmed another video. Um, but I actually filmed my first impression video. Um, so I'm actually not going to list what makeup I'm wearing because I want to keep it a, su a surprise to you guys. Um, but yeah, I filmed a little first impression chat to get ready with me. Thingamabob. Also, this is what I decided to wear to the bazaar. I decided to wear, I decided to wear, I can't speak today, honestly. I decided to wear trousers or little clots instead of shorts. Sorry, I got distracted. Because, um... <laughs> because wow i really can't remember why because i just feel like it's a little bit more appropriate um in india or at least in this part of india so i just thought i'd go with this and also it saves you if you do go into anywhere with aircon and then i'm wearing this white tee from Topshop boutique which i love um i got my favorite choker combination on so again we're steaming up a little bit here guys i think this is going to be a thing Hi guys, so it's day, well it's after night three, so day four, I don't know, um, here at Jodhpur, but we're going to leave today, we are going to Nalai today, and you guys, it's a leopard safari. I need to see some leopards. I'm getting such bad mala mala cravings at the minute. I think it's just like being away and being like long haul. India's obviously lovely. I love it here. Maybe it's just because I knew that Eleven Safari was coming up. I don't know. But I have been thinking about mala mala. <laughs> and I just am so excited. But obviously you guys aren't going to see that in this vlog because I'm going to end this vlog at some point today on the, well, probably on the way to Nalai. Um, so yeah, I don't really actually have that much interesting going on because we're leaving this morning. Um, I definitely forgot to film my curry last night because I am some sort of madman. And I just eat before I think vlog you'll never know what the curry looked like here i hope that's okay with you guys my really can't bother to back that's for sure so guys we are leaving it's been a lovely stay close the door and now we are off so thank you guys for watching this vlog i will see you in the next one for some hopefully some leopard fun and uh, we're steaming up obviously i hope you enjoyed guys Bye. I find you in